Oh, there we go. Welcome to In the Word. Today I have with me Minister Roderick Wright out of the Bethel Baptist Church here in Gaffney, South Carolina. Yes, and today uh, uh, we're going to talk about getting back to the basic of prayer. Amen. Amen. So, because we know prayer is a uh, is a one uh, is is talking to God, communication, talking to God, telling him all about your troubles, telling you please, you know. So, and a lot of times, you know, people talk to everybody besides talking to the Lord. But we need to get back to the basics of just talking to Him. And I think, uh, preacher, that somewhere I think in the four gospel, it, it tells us don't be like the pagans. Yes, just sir. tell them what you want. Just get to the point and yes, just sir. talk to them. Yes, you don't have to go all the way around the world. Get straight forward to Yeah, them. just be straight forward to them. Just tell them what you need yes, or tell sir. them your desires. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Exactly. Uh, my uh, the reason why I want to get back to the get to the topic of uh, getting back to the base of prayer is because we are in dire straits right now in the whole country, the whole world. We need we, we need prayer so so badly right now because Things are just going so terrible. Yeah. I mean, once they took, well, you know for yourself, once they took prayer out of schools. Right. And they took prayer out of politics, everything is, and has gone downhill. Everything has gone downhill really bad and truly really bad. And, and, and as I'm thinking as well, prayer has been basically taken out of church as well, too, if you look at it. All right. It's... I mean, it's it's rough right now because a lot of things. If you sit back and you look and you listen, you see a lot of things that are going on right now. Right. And the things that are happening, not only in our little small community here in Gaffney, uh, you have Spartanburg, you have Greenville, we, uh, everywhere. I mean, everything everything is just going bad because people uh, don't pray anymore. Right. And we when we got we got to talk to the Lord. And no and else. But somebody, I don't care what the situation in your life look like, what you're dealing with, what you're facing, you got to talk to the Lord. Yes, sir. I mean, we get on social media and they all talk about the politics, the president, or uh, what's going on in the world. But if you don't talk to the Lord, it ain't worth a hill of beans. That's right, absolutely right. Because everybody, everybody is so focused on right now what. Trump is saying, and and the things he's done and, and he's said the past couple of days, everybody is more focusing on that. But they're not focusing on the word. They're not fo focusing on prayer. They focusing on what he's been saying, and and it's and it's causing a lot of turmoil right now. And, and everybody just just oh okay, we gonna oh, what the president said. Okay, the, the president can't get you in heaven. <laughs> That's the show true. can't get you. You keep following him, he's going to get you in the hell if you ain't careful. You're right, 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 right. I mean, uh, just the bottom line, prayer changes things. Yes, sir. And that was my first mm -hmm. sermon about 24 or 25 years ago. Yes, sir. Prayer changes things. Yes, and sir. once we get back from the pulpit all the way down to the missionaries or, or, or to the urchins of the church, and we get back realizing that prayer changes things. Yes, sir. From your home to the White House. Amen. From the drug house uh, 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 to, to, to your finances. However you look at it, yes, prayer sir. changes things. Yes, sir. And, but, but it seems like we just... It, well, no, I ain't gonna say we, because I done got to the point. I I put God in the equation. Oh yeah. So it seemed like some oh, yeah. people just uh, uh, just forget about God and and, and uh, to the last minute. Yes, sir. Yeah, the only time they really want to call on God is uh, when we get in trouble. Yeah. And then when things going good, we feel like we don't need Him right. at that time and point. Okay, everything good. I don't need God. But as soon as Something happened in our lives, and we have trouble that transpired. Then we're going, oh, Lord, I need you. Okay, yeah. all right. When the times were good, you needed the Lord then when the times were good. Yeah. yeah you need the Lord when his time's good and the, and the Lord when the times are bad. Right. Not just only when everything's going bad, then you want to call out to one because it don't work that way with God. Yeah. Now, one one thing I like what David said in Psalms 143 from the Open Bible Version. It says, hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to my supplications. In your faithfulness, 
answer me and in your righteousness. Yes, One sir. thing about that, that I like what David says, you know, he asked the Lord to hear his prayer. Amen. Uh, but they were saying this at the time, but now we at a time, we don't, have to, we don't have to ask the Lord to hear our prayer. If we just do right and be faithful yes, to sir. him, yes, he's going to hear our prayer. Yes, sir. He's going to hear our prayer. And, and David said, in your faithfulness, answer me. He will answer us if we faithful. Amen. But yes, we sir. cannot just do in and everything and think God just going just gonna to hear, hear, uh, hear our plea. Amen. Well, he will hear it, but he won't move on it. Let me put it Amen. like that. Amen. He's going to hear your plea. So uh, you, could, you could be ratchet. You can, you can be a thug, you, you can be a homemonger, you yes. can be a idolater, you can be an old drunk, a crackhead, you can, uh, 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 you can be a homosexual. And God will hear your prayer, but will he move on it? Because the uh, reason I ask it like that, because God don't move unless you unless you focus and your life is lined up on him. Correct. Unless, then, then, but on the flip side, that he might move. To get your attention. Then once he gets your attention, it's up to you then. But then if, if, if he got your attention, say, you know, you're praying like, Lord, uh, uh, you live in any kind of way, but you're praying for a new car. He's like, all right, uh, 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 Roger, I'm going to bless you with a new car. Even though I know you ain't living right, you really ain't focusing on me. But I'm going to bless you with a new car. I'm going right. to see if you're going to... Is you gonna be faithful? One time I preached a sermon, the crow or the rooster. Don't let the rooster, don't let the rooster remind you what you promised the Lord. Well, Amen. Lord, I, 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 if you bless me with a new car, you know I'll serve you. But as soon as that rooster crow uh, had to remind yes, you, what, yes, Roger, sir. you done got that new car three months ago. <laughs> but you, have you forgot your promise? You know to the Lord. So sometimes the Lord will hear your answer your prayer just to see, let, show yes, you sir. what you gonna do. Yes, sir. Like Roger, you promised me if I bless you with a new car that you will serve me. But now you got that new car. Now you're not serving me like you said you would. So yes, yeah, sometimes he will hear. He will move on a a, a a sinner's prayer just to show him where he stand at with it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're absolutely correct because when uh, you uh, ask for things. You got to ask for things. I I don't know about you, real, but if I ask for things for God, I'm I'm, I'm going to, I'm going for four four minutes. I'm going for overflow. Come on, I'm son. Not, I'm not just going to go for just a little bit. I want I want some and then some. Right. I want to I want to go higher and higher with it and 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 bless the Lord at all times. Man, yeah, one thing I, I learned because uh, you know I tell people because for some reason people are asking me be asking me like how you do this how you do that like. You got to know what works for you. You right. know, what works for me, you know, in the scripture might not work for you because right. God deal with everybody on their personalities. Yes, sir. He didn't deal with the woman at the well the same way he deal with the woman with the issue of blood or with the woman that, that caught in the bury at the adulteries, oh, I meant to say. So the woman that was at the well, she was in sin. Yes, the woman sir. that was caught in the bury at the adultery was in sin, but Jesus dealt with them on their, you know. On, on personal. Yeah, on personal. So I tell people, well, you got to figure out what works with, with with you. So when I pray, I say, Lord, I thank you in advance. That works for me. That let me. Uh, that's to me. That's showing the Lord. Hey, I trust you in advance for what you're gonna do for me. As long as my life is lined up with you, I don't trust you in advance. So if I'm if I'm believing God for a new car, if I'm believing God. Uh, to make a way out of nowhere. God, what, let me say, God, I need some new furniture. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but God, I thank you in advance for helping me make a way out of nowhere to get some new furniture. That way, I'll, I'm walking by faith, not by sight. But right. Yeah, so I, other way, I'm saying, That's God, right. I don't see my furniture, but I'm thanking you in advance for my furniture. Yes, sir. You see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And so that works yes, for me, thanking God yes, in sir. advance. So I very seldom don't ask God in that. Uh, no, thank, I'm going to ask God for things. Yes, if, I, if I have a plea to him, I think like, Lord, well, you see, I need some new furniture, but I thank you in advance for blessing me with it. That's how I do it. Yes, sir. Because he already knows the desires of my yes, heart. Sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why that's I tell people, uh, get that personal relationship with the Lord, and he will deal with you with your personality towards him. I can't be like you. Right. I mean, right. I can't get up. And, and, and last time I heard you preach, you keyed up. I can't key up like you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, 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 don't have, I don't have a home like you. <laughs> I can't do that. That's okay. That's okay. You have a home. I, I'm a hooper. Yeah, you know, if I, if I get on that job, who, you know, do that stuff like you. I can't do that. But I can hoop. And so, that's, okay. That's, okay. that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, and he do with everybody, yeah. you know, that, you know, by their personality. Yes, sir. Exactly. Like I say, um, 
like and I, I'm, a, I'm a true firm believer of prayer and I, and I if a lot of things I, I can go on and on about things that that has transpired in my life right and I could go on like if it wasn't for the Lord on my side come on sir I don't even know where, where I'd be at I mean I could have been in jail I could have even been dead I was out there selling drugs to yeah. and, and I was doing everything all wrong and then and, and then God just came to me one day and said Looked at me and said, "How long are you gonna keep doing this?" Mm, come on, sir. How long are you gonna keep doing this? Yeah. He said, "Because after a while, I'm gonna get tired." Yeah. And then he has a way of breaking it down. I'm like, uh, you know how you want to just blow it off? Ah, uh, I'm I'm all right for right now. I'm right. good. No, uh, uh. When God sends something for you and for you to do, he's he's got it for you. He's got it in his mind set for you to do it. Well, last last thing you want uh, you don't want to happen in your life to God to do you like He did Saul, you know. You know yeah. uh, how He kept telling Saul to do right, and Saul wouldn't do right. He wouldn't hear, so He hardened Saul's heart and took the spirit from him. You know, David and the well, they had to play the instruments to you know kind of make them feel good. Mm -hmm. it, you know, that that was temporary feeling, but it, it, so in other words, I'm saying. Obey the Lord, you know, for he want, you know, for he, for his spirit to stay with you. Yes, it's sir. sad, you know, and and I bet you said that preacher because a lot of time people we wonder why people come to church and it seems like they sitting there like a frog on the law. It may be because they, he done took his spirit from them. Maybe they can't feel him, and we right. sitting there. Well, I, I don't hardly do it now. I, I try to give thank you on Periscope for the hearts. Uh, I, I try to give back from pep, uh, uh, pepping uh, pepping people up. Yes, in, in church. yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I, I get away from that because you ought to. Uh, I heard one of the truth texts I, I seen years ago uh, that said we ought to come to church. I think it was two two from the truth that said we ought to come to church with a premeditated praise. Yes, sir. We ought to come to church knowing that we're going to praise God. We ought to come to church knowing that we're going to worship Him and give Him the glory. Not come and sit there and see who got what on and see what's going on uh, yes, sir. Or, or, or whatever. We yes, ought to come to church knowing that we're going to praise God and give Him all that we got. Yes, sir. And, and, and a lot of times when pastors or whoever prays leader, don't worry about trying to pump people up because you can't pump people up that God done took his spirit from like he done did Saul because he done want them and warned them to do right and yes, they wouldn't sir. do right. Yes, sir. And we sitting there trying to give out, come on, praise the Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah, glory, but they ain't going to feel it if God done took his spirit from it. Exactly, exactly. I'm glad you brought that point up because I feel like this, if you got the weight you know for yourself. Come on, sir. If you have to wait <laughs> to get the church on Sunday Come on, man. or the preacher to pump you up or Come the praise on, team or the choir to pump you up, what's, what's the purpose in it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, I Come mean, what's the, what's the purpose in it? Because you ought to be already pumped up and already prayed up for God as soon as you walk into God's house. Yeah. You should be already pumped up. You don't need no more pumping up. I know that ever since I've been saved, preacher. You couldn't say Jesus too much around me. I mean, ever since, even though, you know, we got our flaws, but I never wanted the type you had to pump up. It's just something about when you, when, when you know God have blessed you, amen, uh, when you've been in an accident or brought you from seeing the unseen okay. danger, bailed you out of trouble, when you think about his goodness, your soul got to cry hallelujah. Yes, sir. All, I, all I, day. Yes, sir. Day. Yes, sir. All so day. I don't care. How, I, I, don't, I don't see how people could just come and sit down on the Lord and not just wave their hand. Everybody ain't gonna praise God like you. Everybody not gonna praise God like me. Cool. Everybody got their own, you, you know, ways of praise. Him. Praise Him, mm -hmm. but somebody will be able to wave their hand or shake their head or show, uh, 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 show some kind of sign that you living for God. Yes, sir. You are absolutely right. And you, and, and going back to what you just said, you you have some that's sitting there that's praising God, giving God Almighty all the praise that He deserves. Then you have some that sit there and just look at you like, well. Well, okay. Well, if I gotta do it, I'll do it, and that—that's not the way it should. Oh, he ain't gonna bless you like no, that. No, no, so he's not no. gonna bless you mm -hmm. at all. He bless a cheerful giver. I know a lot of times we say that in, in offering, but that's in anything. If you if you cheerful in your praise, he gonna bless you. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, I try to do. I try to. I do my part. I do my part, and everybody else is to try to to uh, praise the Lord and bless Him at all times. Come on. We, we need him, and, and, and a lot of people want to run around. Matter of fact, it was a situation that just happened to me the, uh, maybe a couple of weeks ago, and, like, and, and it kind of stumped me because the person came up and said, uh, okay, if the Lord bless you all the time, 
and he's, and he's doing great things for you in your life, why do, why do you need him? Huh. What? I, 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 I just, I, Rev, I had to just walk away. Yeah. He said, how can you, how can you praise something that you cannot see or feel? Yeah. And, and, and he, and he kind of just like, he touched me the wrong way. And I'm like, like Lord, <laughs> uh -oh. give me strength. And you're a big man too. <laughs> I, said, I said, Lord, give me strength. I'm looking at you and me on the camera. God. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Lord, give me strength because I said, because he know not what he's he's saying or doing. I said, you know, the devil will come at you in all forms and shapes and fashion. Right. They will come at you in all directions. And I'm like, Lord, is it is it a test? Is it a test? You're right. And he and and and, and, I, and I spoke to God, and God said, No, he he doesn't know the way. Yeah. He doesn't know the way. And then I and I tried to, and I talked to the young brother, and I've been talking to him, and I've been talking to him, and he. The reason why he was like that because he has no faith, and he said he he hadn't been trained on how to pray. Right, pray to God. Mm -hmm. He said that's why he was the way he was. And I said, I'm like I'm like God, you sent him to me for a reason mm -hmm. to help this young man, not because he's lost in the way. Right, and and I'm I'm, and I'm glad he did. And then like I said, I'm working with this young man right now, and he's like, man, Rev, you are you on point with it. And I'm like, well, I'm just I'm just doing what thus said the Lord. Yeah. And, and, and when you're dealing with people and trying to lead them, you know, to the Lord and keep them on the right pathway, that goes all goes back to the basic of prayer because you have to have the basic of prayer to lead and guide somebody for yes, the sir. Lord to show you the way. Yes, sir. Exactly. But we can lean not to our own understanding. Yes, sir. I, I, I was in church on Sunday and, and one of my good friends spoke on Sunday and he came out of the books of Acts. Yeah. And he spoke on the, uh, his subject was, are you safe? Or saved. Mm. Watch out now. Are you safe or, or saved? saved? Yeah. And and, 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 I, and I sat down. <laughs> and I sat down. I'm like, ooh, something just went all over me just then. <laughs> uh, are you safe or saved? And then the whole when he said that, the whole church got silent. Yeah. Are you safe or saved? Are you safe or saved? And and I and I looked and I'm like and 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 I read where he came from and, and it and it said it says it purely and clearly in the book. We are just too much in our comfort zone. Mm, mm. And we think things are not going to happen. Okay, if we just go to church, we are saved and we are safe. Mm -hmm. No, he said it, it, it doesn't work that way. You got to have the Holy Spirit. You got to have the Holy Spirit within yourself. And then you have to praise God at all times. You got like, it's like everybody always say that. The ministers, we are the, for, the forefront. Yeah, but we all, but God, we all minister in, within God's eyesight. Yes, we sir. All, we all God. Yeah, we all yeah. minister in God's yeah. eyesight. So yeah. we have to, we have to do our part, and we have to do things to, to help people. Sometimes because some, you know, for yourself, real people will come at you. They will try you, and they'll say things and do things, and just to see how you're gonna respond to it. Oh yeah. And they, and, and 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 a lot of times, y'all don't know about you. I just walk away and say, Lord, just. Give me strength. Give me oh, yeah. Strength. On my good day, I could do that. On my bad day, I might be like Dr. David Banner. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, on my good day, you know, bless you. You know, I can get them a soft answer. But on, my, uh, on a day, I ain't, I ain't had that fellowship with the Lord. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. Sir. It could be something else. <laughs> yes, I, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. So, like, that, that's, why, that's why I like when it says, also be mindful and be watchful and watch as you pray. I, I, and I love that. I mean, watch watch and be mindful as well as pray. Yeah. I love that because I tell people, and I don't know if you agree with me on this, but I, I tell people, you can't have everybody praying. Oh, you. no, no, no. You can't do that. And I tell no. them, they said, why is that? I said, no. If, if you got, if that person has a demonic spirit, he could pass, they or he or she could pass that demonic spirit on to you, because if you have everybody, I'm, I'm that type. I don't have. If you're gonna pray, we're gonna pray right there together. Right. We're gonna pray right there together, because because the person that's praying with you or praying for you can pray you straight into yeah. hell. Well, I, I'm like this. I very seldom ask somebody to pray for me because you, you can't. 
you can't tell my issue to God like I can. Exactly. That's why I try to express to folks. No, uh, quit lying, quit relying on so many people to pray for you because you can't. They can't tell God your issue like you can. Exactly. And if you saying you born again, you he ought to, you ought to be able to get a prayer through. Exactly. And then then you know another thing you, you know uh, uh, I'm so comfortable with you know a lot of times uh, and, and it's good if they come with that. Like when, if I you know I got to preach Sunday. You, you know, I don't spend so much time with God. When I get to church, I'm ready. I'm ready to praise Him. I'm ready to give Him the glory. All my praying time, I done did. So when I get up, you know, because uh, sometimes you know preachers get up, you know, pray like, Lord, take me out of self, and and you stand up in me. I I don't do that. Re, re, all reason because if I ain't prepared, then <laughs> I, I, if I ain't right, talk exactly. to Him, then ain't exactly. no. Exactly. You know, I should do all my praying before service. Yes, you sir. know, unless there's some demonic spirits I'm fighting against. Yes, then you might you have to sit there in the pole like, Lord, uh, I bind these spirits in the name of Jesus. But if, if a service going good, and I, I done did my praying and all that before service started. When I when I come to church, I'm I, I'm coming to praise and worship. I ain't yes, coming. Sir. I ain't coming. No, exactly. the, 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 the cast my cares over. I should do that before before uh, service. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? So, home. Yeah. Yes, so sir. when my time to preach, I'm getting up preaching. Yes, but sir. each is on. That's just me. That's yes, why sir. I said God yes, did deal with us on uh, on our different different personalities. Yes, sir. So my personality, if I don't talk to God uh, and study at, uh, at home. Amen. When I get to church, I'm ready to go. I, ain't, I don't have to pray before I preach and ask God to take me out of it because I know I don't need to be in me if I want God to use me. Exactly. You, you know, like I already told God before I left on God, I need you to use me. And God, I thank you for using me because I want somebody to be saved and delivered and be, and be set free. Amen. Yes, yes, and so, yeah, yeah. So a lot of times we got, it's a time to pray and it's time not to pray. Yes, sir. In season and out of season. Yeah, yeah. We, 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 we got to know when to talk to it. Like, it's a time, you know, to praise God and worship God. Then it's a time and ain't. There's a, it's a time when you need to be praying. Yes, sir. Exactly. We just got to know. We got to just know what atmosphere we in. Yes, sir. Exactly, exactly. And, uh, I mean, we, we, like I said, I can go back and say it again. We have lost sight of what, what, what we, as people, as God's people, what we need to do, we don't lost sight of it. Like I said, we don't took prayer out of everything, and it and it just hurts me to my heart, and it's hurt me to, it hurt me to my soul that prayer is out of schools, is out of everything. Well, I mean, what I tell what I tell people uh, uh, about that issue that can't nobody stop you from talking to God no. from that inner man. No, no, no. You know, so no, it, no. so it, it starts from the home. If, if the parents tell their child. You know, when you go to school, you know, you can still bless your food. You can still talk to God. You know, if you, if you feel like your test going to be rough or somebody messing with you, you can still talk to God. Right. You, you don't have to talk to him out loud. Amen. Uh, 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 now, sometimes you might have to call that spirit out that loud. But, you know, much of the time, we, we, can, still, we can talk to him yes. on, on your job. Because, really, you yeah. you can't really pray on your job, you know, out loud. But I do. But I <laughs> do. But because but, we say we talk prior to school, we, really, you can't pray on your job. But, but you can in the inner man, yes, like sir. God. You know, the devil's on the job messing with me today. I, I need you. I, I, I need you because I'm about to lose it. You know, yes, sir. Well, we could talk. We, you could. There's no place here on the face of the earth that you cannot talk to God. That's right. So That's always right. remember, oh, my brothers and my sisters, you could no, no matter where you at, you could talk to the Lord. Amen. You might just can't talk to him out loud, but you could talk to him. I talk just, to him out loud as long as you matter. know he hear you. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I don't let nobody steal my joy. If I feel like, and, and a lot of people at, at my job, they can tell you if something's going on and something, and something I don't like, they'll, they, they'll tell you, oh, uh, Roger, he'll strike out with a song in a minute. Yeah. And, I, and I will, and I'm like, and, and I get everybody else into it, and then everybody come up like, what's really going on? Like, he's he's having church over here. Well, he praising I, God. I seen on the news, uh, I think last night, that a Greenville somewhere that the City council or something to council people. Yes, sir. I saw uh, that. About prayer, they were having an issue about prayer. Yes, I like sir. to myself, you know, I, if you not right with God, I don't want to pray with you in a way unless you want to be. Lord, you, hallelujah. Yeah, I, Lord, I, hallelujah. Unless you want to come unto Him. Yes, but sir. otherwise, 
if I was a city councilman or uh, county council, I'm going to go, before I go to that meeting, I'm going to be out there and talk to the Lord. So that's if you ain't talking to him, that's your issue. That's right. If you ain't born again, you know, uh, uh, he ain't going to move on your prayer too quick anyway. Not just because you're going into a meeting that uh, really you ain't going to put him first. It's just a lot of words. Yes, and sir. so my thing is, I, I don't get all upset because they, you know, if, if I see that on the news by a council member. Fussing about they they can't they they having issues or or the or the, the school district having issues because they can't uh, pray before board meeting. If you ain't if God ain't first in your life, it ain't gonna make a hill of beans anyway. Right. Yeah, and, and, and so people got to realize that you know uh, 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 it's power in prayer when when sanctified born again folks do it. Amen. Mm. Not just not just anybody. Mm. You, right. I can't go get no drug dealer. Amen. <laughs> I can't go get no homemonger. Amen. Right. I can't get somebody that got so many cuss words that come out of their mouth and make the devil tr tremble. The the pray and, and, uh, 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 and thank God gonna move. That's right. Exactly. Exactly. And and, and and so if anybody on here is in politics from the from your local city all the way up and you worry about prayer, if the other folks ain't saved, it ain't gonna make no difference anyway. Exactly. I don't know why people can't uh, get that in their mind that if they ain't say if, if you don't, if it just, I don't know how many council people use it at a council. If it's 12 of them and only number two or three of them say, I mean, why are you going to fuss over the other what, eight about prayer? When they don't probably talk to God, no way. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I mean, yeah, yeah, you know, God ain't going to be pimped out. That's right. That's right. It's like beating a dead horse. And yeah. You, 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 you know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes, sir. I, I mean, it's just, it's, just, it's just a lot of things that are, uh, I mean, it's just, it's, it's just not, I mean, okay. uh, my cousin Chad, or Chad Park said he pray at work too. I hear you, cousin Chad. Ain't nothing like praying at work. Uh, it's nothing like it. Yeah, I have to pray at work too. And even though you know parking cars will be a valet parker, you wouldn't think that's you, you know. Yes. Oh God, the spirit oh, that you meet. Yes. And especially if you yes. had doctor's office that deal with the head. Yes. And sir. some of them in there ain't ain't, <laughs> ain't right. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> and so yeah, I, I, I went to the. Hey, we at the park. I said it. I said it. I said it. I said it. I said yeah. Said it. Yeah. They ain't right. I mean, I, I was trying to think of the word chem chemical unstable. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, balance yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Chemical unbalanced. Yeah. That's a that's P a political correct. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so but now. Bump heads with them. I had to pray because I had to remind myself that they ain't that they they self. Right, exactly. exactly. And, and that's one thing about you know being in a relationship with God that you know you had that spirit of discernment that you it help you put yourself in check. Like wait a minute, I'm not fighting against flesh and blood, but principality rules of the you know. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. And, and we got to remind ourselves we're not fighting against I mean, uh, uh, flesh and blood. It, it, it's that spirit that's in them. Yes, sir. Exactly. And all, 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 I hear, I hear, I hear in the TV land people, all them basically is saying is just, just give God your, just give God time, just give him time, just yeah. give him your time, because he, he's been too good, he's been too, he's been too so much of everything to us. We, we did nothing so special or great to still be here. It's not because of our education. Yeah. It's not because of our money that we have in our pocket. It's not because of our fancy house or our fancy cars that we had. Yeah. No, we, that, he's he, he's not kept us here because of that. He kept us here because he loves us. Mm, all right. He loves us because in a blink of an eye, I don't know about you. You should you should be back in the day now. You, you didn't hear about young people passing now. Oh yeah, back in back yeah. in the day. Yeah, because me and you about the same age yeah. anyway. <laughs> and now it's 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 revolving on all of our. It's young as well as the old now. It's oh like, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's like here today. It used to be here today and going tomorrow. It's not here today and going tomorrow. It's here to, here right now and going the next second. Now that that son that we grew up with, get right church and let's go home. Oh yeah, oh, that's yeah. really effective now. Yes, you sir. better get really right. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And really let's really go is. home because you know I, I I I'm not dealing with that son do. What I used to hear back in the day, packing up. I'm already packed. I ain't yes, packing up. <laughs> I'm already packed. Exactly. Yes, amen. Right. Because he could call yes, me as soon as we say amen yeah. after this broadcast. Yeah, that's right. And but I want everybody to know that when I take my last breath, I'm already to pack. I ain't packing. Because if you're packing, that means you ain't prepared. Yeah, that's but right. if you pack, that yeah, means you're ready to go. You're ready to rock Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. Get yes, on that sir. train and keep, yeah. keep on moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So stop packing, get packed. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. I ain't talking about packing no gun neither. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. We, 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 need to, we need to pack. We need to pack God into our lives. We need to. Yes, sir. We need to bring Him into our lives. And if anybody out there that, that want to come to come to Christ, come just just fall down on your knees and just pray and say, God. Help me, yeah, or send me <laughs> in the right direction, or send me to someone that can help me to get closer to you. Mm, come on, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And if you do that, talk to him, doc. If you do that, I guarantee, I guarantee you, things will work out a whole lot better. And as ministers, as myself, I'm, I may be guilty of it sometimes, and, and minister uh, Serrata, he may be guilty of it sometimes. But sometimes God sends us a test. Sometimes, yes, sir. Uh, you don't know. Who or what shape, form, or fashion a person that comes to you asking you for help, and then you turn them away. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, it seems like here lately, my me messenger. Uh, if, uh, oh, yeah. If anybody messages me, it might be a while for me to get back to you because I don't have it on my phone. It's on my desktop computer. Uh, but here lately, it seems like my messenger inbox and all that stuff been blown up. Mm -hmm. I thought we. Uh, I don't know what that question did for me. I don't know if you read it. I think a couple of weeks ago I asked, "Can you go a day without, uh, uh, without seeing?" It, uh, not just you wake up and say, "You know, I'm, I'm I ain't gonna see in the day." No, I wasn't meant it like that day. If you really fasting and praying, your face is before the Lord, and, and and you're gonna shut yourself out to the world. Can you go a day without seeing? And I didn't know the reaction. I'm you know positive reaction. That question got. I mean, I had so many messages in the inbox. And, 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 and people talking about they want to come back to the Lord. You know, uh, they were uh, thinking about getting baptized. And after uh, uh, Minister Sarah <coughs> Ellis was on, talked about uh, 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 are you really saved? And how the, my inbox and messages just start blowing up. So you, we got to be ready because in a twinkle of an eye, God can just bam, open up yes, doors sir. just like that. And you yes, got to be ready to yes, ready sir. for them doors. Yes, sir. Because I never thought that messenger and my inbox and all that stuff is just going to blow up from those two, that, from that question and from that uh, show that me and uh, Minister Ellis did. And it's just like, wow, man. Yes, I, I mean, I'm just like, wow. I, I, I mean, from Google Plus and, and, and other stuff out there I'm on, people was asking questions. And so we got to be prepared. Yes. And, and, and it takes the basic of, uh, prayer for us to prepare ourselves for the works of the Lord. Yes, now, we can't just wake up and, and, uh, every, every morning and think that we're we going to... Uh, Prepare ourselves to do the works of the Lord. It takes prayer. Yes, sir. It takes prayer, man. Because I pray morning, noon, and night. I don't know about nobody else. I get up praying. I go to bed praying. Yeah. And I, and, I, and it doesn't stop it. it uh, I catch myself sometimes praying in my sleep sometimes. Yeah. And, 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 and people say, you pray that much? Prayer is just talking to God. That's all it I is. mean, it's just talking to God. So if you're talking to God, yeah, you you praying to him. Yes, yeah, and, and so I, I, I feel you, bro, because I talk to the Lord, you know, all the time. And, and especially like, Lord, wait a minute. My day been going awfully good today. I want to thank you. Hey, you, you know, hey, thanks, like, God, I thank you because mm -hmm. I, for, for as I know, my eyebrows ain't been down. <laughs> you, you, you know, and nobody pissed me the hell off. I'm like, God, I thank you. Yes, and, you know, and, and a lot of times we forget to give God thank you. We yes, always want to ask him, but we not don't just want to you know to thank him. Amen. We got to thank him. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. for the good, the, for, especially when, when things going. And, you, and, and, and if you like me, you use your body wrecking with pain, and you find out, and you look back that day like, wait a minute, God. Plus, I know my body ain't been aching or you know, been in, in pain. Yes, thank sir. you. Yes, sir. Thank you, you know. Advance. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. I learned that from you know Pastor Liz May Bridges. She used to say it back in the day. You know, tell the Lord thank you, and so that got in my spirit. Tell the Lord thank you. Yes, sir. Amen. Hey man, if you if you know your your finances done got better, your eating done got better, uh, your way of living done got better, tell the Lord thank you. Hey man, they just praying. That's prayer. Yes sir. Yeah, yes, that's sir. just a quick prayer saying, Lord, you know, Lord, I thank you. You, you know, but you know, uh, people they, like I said, we uh, when things get good, they want to forget about the Lord. Yes sir, they they want to get rid of. Yeah. it. it's like okay, I don't need you right now. Okay, but when I, when I 
when I when I get in trouble a little bit, then I come back and pick you. Yeah. Up. No, it don't work that way. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't work that way because yeah. I'm, I'm, when the time's good, I'm gonna be praising. When time's bad, I'm still gonna praise him in spite of what I'm going through. Yeah. Yeah. In spite yeah. of what I'm going through, I'm still gonna keep right on praising. I don't care how, how rough and <laughs> how hard it get. I'm gonna still be right there. That's where your victory at. That is where your victory at. I, I mean, uh, uh, wherever you going through. I don't care what you facing. If you still got a praise in the midst of that, you will see how God will carry you through that. Yes, sir. You will have peace in the midst mm -hmm. of your storm. Yes, sir. When you give God praises in them in your storm. And I don't care if they're telling you tomorrow they're going to come and get your car. If you still give God the praise and the glory, if they do come and get your car, like the Hebrew boys told King Nebuchadnezzar, if, we, if you do throw us in the fire burning, we still know that God is able. That's that... that that is that faith that delivers. Yes, Amen. Sir. Yes, sir. Hey, it might come and get my car, but if you come and get it, that means God might even have something better for me. Uh, uh, that, that's how you got to look at it. Yes, sir. it that's how, that, 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 that's all it is. We always got to look at the positive side of things with God. Yes, sir. That's, I'm glad you brought that point about the storm, uh, uh, preacher, because a lot of storms that we go through, God don't put us through most of these storms. Come on, sir. We go through. Come on. We put ourselves yeah. in them storms that we go through sometimes. Yeah. Yes, sir. And then, and then we might wonder, Lord, I just came out of a storm. I just came out of a storm. Yeah. And then you go, and then you like, I just came out. Now I'm going back into it. Think about it. Mm. You, you caused that. You with something you did. <laughs> think about it. It's something you did and you thought, and it, it carried you right back into a storm. Like I just came out of a. A long storm, about six months long storm. Now I just walked out of that probably about three days. Now I walk right back into yeah, it again. Yeah. No, it's not God. It's you. Yeah, and, and especially for the single folks. Are you single or are you married? No, I'm single. Yeah, uh, for, especially for single folks. Amen. That 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 keep making these bad decisions mm -hmm. in flesh. Yes, sir. And, and they wonder like, why I keep getting this knucklehead guy? Why I keep getting this no good woman? If you just let the Lord lead you. Now, That's back right. in the day, oh, the deaconess in our church, let, let Jesus lead you. All the way from earth to glory, let Jesus lead you. Right. Let Jesus lead you. Amen. And quit because somebody got a nice body, for, you know, on both sides and, and jumping at that. Let Jesus lead you. And then when Jesus leads you, you know it's going to be all right. But when you go after that flesh, <laughs> yeah, because you can't keep your flesh in check, <laughs> amen, yes, you're going to be scratching your head. I'm in this storm again, amen. I'm in the bed with this person again. This person cheating on, this person doing me like this again. Did you put Jesus in it? That's right. If it ain't no God in it, and it's not going to go nowhere anyway. Ah, come on. God don't, God don't bless me in this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then, then especially if you say you're born again, you want somebody on fire like you are. Yes, you don't want to grab somebody. Hey, Amen. You said you, you know, you said you, you know, you fired up and you caught up in the Lord. Hey, Amen. You don't want somebody that you got to pull up and, and you got to, you know, baby and, and minister to. You want somebody about on your same level or higher, and that way, you, you, you know, you got a person that yes, fighting, mm -hmm. fighting that fight with you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When. When you when when you fall down, you want them to pick Come you on, up, sir. Yeah. You up and put you on solid ground. Yeah, yeah. And that's the type of person I'm looking for. And like when I get down, I want I want her to pick me up. And like I, if she get down, Come on, I want to pick her up. Come on, sir. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. That's what I want. Yeah, uh, yeah. And, and sometimes people, so you know, I get so desperate, or I guess that's the word, and they'll settle for anything. But if you say you're born again, you say you know for Christ, you you don't supposed to settle for anything. You're a right. child of royalty. You think the, the the people over there in England, I forgot them boys named Prince John or whoever they are. Uh, Harry and uh, George. Yeah, you think they sell for anything? No. No, no. So if we are choosing a royalty from the high king, why are we going to sell for anything? That's right. Exactly. You don't have to sell for anything. You, I mean, you just hold out. Amen. Just hold out until your change come. And I, I guarantee you, God will make it all right. Yes, sir. All right. And, 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 but, you know, it's bad when Christians, and not just in relationship. I know you got to go to work. Uh, we got to close this thing out. Uh, but I see so many Christians uh, uh, just in the lifestyle all together, just sell, just sell for anything and not reaching what God could really bless them with. We don't have to just settle for anything. That's what you're right. You're absolutely right. Uh uh. We don't have to settle for anything. I know we got to crawl, you know, before we walk. They just just that's life. But you don't have to always just keep raw crawling. You don't always got to eat pito beans. 
Amen. And when you can believe God that you can uh, have cube states and uh, 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 <laughs> say it, uh, preacher. you know stuff say like it, that. Preacher. You, you it, know, you all get tired of pinto beans. Ain't nothing wrong with pinto beans. Amen. But right. you all believe God for some cube states or, or, or some real buys or something. You know, some pork chops. <laughs> exactly. You know, believe God for more. Exactly. You know, just stay exactly. with pinto beans. Hey, Amen. Exactly. That, that's, that's what I'm saying. Hey, you no, know, re reach for something high. Yes, sir. You know, we yes, serve sir. a God. They said the earth is the law and the fullness thereof. Say he owed the cattle on a thousand hills. Yes, sir. And so why we why we settle for pinto beans? Why we why we settle for lima beans? Hey, Amen. When, when we keep easing on up with pinto beans and then after pinto beans, you know, just you know, just make the meal even better. Yes, sir. You, you know, but see, so many Christians that got just settled. In life, then you got some of them reaching too high. Amen. Yes, Amen. Sir. Don't reach. <laughs> don't reach yeah. above God. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. don't reach above God. You try to reach above God. Guess what? He gonna do? He gonna he gonna he gonna bring you down a peg. He gonna let you know I'm still the one that's in control. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Still one in control. He, he would do that. So that, that I try to stay on. Uh, you know, walking with God, mm -hmm. not behind it, and not even before Him. I try to just stay with God. Even though, you know, that old flesh and sometimes, you know, get in the way. But as long as I know I can, uh, I got somebody or uh, I know myself good enough to get myself back in check. Oh, God will put me in check. Yes, <laughs> yeah, that's why I like, you know. And one thing about being born again is that when you get that ear for God and you hear his voice, yes, he'll sir. put you in check. Oh, yeah, he'll real put you in quick. check real quick. Yes, yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and you know him if you want to. Mm -hmm. Amen. But you, I know you got to go to work, preacher, but uh, yeah. I, I thank you for uh, being on first time, yes, being sir. on in the world. Yes, sir. I yes, sir. I hope you come back again. I will. Yes, I will. sir. I, I, I enjoyed that. And if, if, uh, if ain't nothing on, else on your heart to say, I would like for you to know the closest out, you know, with a uh, word of prayer. All right. I'm going to say this out uh, here in TV land. Pray. Yes, sir. Because we need it. Oh, we need, yeah. We need it more now than we ever needed before. Amen. Pray. We got a lot of things that are going on. We, we got uh, young people killing one another. We got, we got everything going on. It, with the White House, the outhouse, everything's going wrong right now. We need prayer. We need to get it back. And, and you know, by you saying that, and it's sad that once again, you know, had a church shooting. It's sad when you can't even go to church. Right, exactly. And so you think you're safe at church, you better have prayer with you. Yes, Amen. Sir. Ask God to you know, put that head of protection around you because now yes, you can't even go to church and give God the glory with somebody coming in there going to shoot up. Yes, and sir. so don't think you're just safe because you're at church. You're safe when you got God as your security. Ah, I felt that. Yes, sir. Yeah, you are safe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are safe when you got God as your security. Yes, my, 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 yes, my, 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 my. And, and a lot of times people just go walk around and because of, they think that somebody because of their last name or because of their job or because exactly. of uh, what they drive or because of what they live in. No, uh, if it weren't for the grace of God, you wouldn't have none of that. Yes, Amen. Sir. God is our security. Yes, sir. My, 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 my. He's my security blanket. Yes, sir. I don't know about nobody else. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we got to know that, hey, you, you, you know, we got to have God with us. Amen. Yes, Amen, man, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to. All right, <laughs> hey, 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 go ahead. I, hey, I like to hear the words. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. I sit back and I listen. I, I know you got to go to work, though. Oh, yeah, boy. I, I tell you, you know, it don't take long for me to hit that gear. Oh, I already yeah. know. I already know. Hey, let the, let the spirit lead you, man. I, know, That's man. I, I got time. Man. I got time. I make time. <laughs> <laughs> Man, because, uh, but it, 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 it troubles me that people won't make God their security. You know, they walk around like you know they made heaven and earth. Right. They, they walk exactly. around like you know, you know they they won't take self up. God did it. That's right. Amen. You they know, no phone, cell phone, and no alarm clock. Come on, sir. Because if it wasn't for Him, then you wouldn't even know you're in the world. Right Come on, now. yes, sir. Oh my Lord. Now, you know Jesus. that's right. Because you know when you sleep, you don't know you're in the world. That's right. Amen. That's right. Until He wake you up. Mm -hmm. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. He's our security. Amen. That will preach. <laughs> that will preach. <laughs> Jesus is my security. My, my Lord. Yes, sir. <laughs> It's all in your hands. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, if I, if I, I might start preaching. <laughs> my, my, I might start because prayer, there's just, just something about it. I just, I, just, I just love it. I just love the word of prayer. I mean, you can talk to God morning, noon, night. It doesn't matter when. I mean, like I was, People look at me sometimes when I be talking to myself. 
I'm not crazy. No, I'm, no, I'm just no, talking no. to myself. I'm talking to the Lord. You don't, you don't know what me and my God got going on. Come on, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's mm. an old one. Mm. Fellowship, old one, joy divine. Yes, Leaning sir. on the everlasting yes, arms. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got to lean on him. Yes, sir, a lot of times to. people don't want to lean on Jesus. They want to lean on mom and daddy, aunt, uncle, whoever got the most money or the fancy car at the house. But you have to lean on Jesus. Yes, sir. Because when everything else fails, uh, he's that solid rock. Yes, sir. Oh, my, my, my. <laughs> I feel it in here right now. Yes, sir. Now. I feel it in here oh, right now. Oh, man. He's the presence of the Lord is here. <laughs> mm. Oh, Lord. Well, mm. Yeah, he's that solid rock. Amen. Amen. He he's my man. rock and my joy. Yes, sir. My sword and my shield. Yes, sir. Well, I ain't heard that in a long time. Mm. <laughs> that old I mean, yes, sir. Yeah. 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 That, that came to me right there automatically because I yeah. guess I feel him all over right yes, now. Sir. Yes, sir. I ain't heard that, I ain't heard that phrase in a long time. Amen. Bless the Lord on my soul. Woo, if it had not been for the Lord on my side, tell well, me, where, where would I, I be? Yes, where sir. Where would I be? I know that's right. He, he put me in my right mind this morning. I didn't get up and I didn't put my shoes on top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I know he got me in my right mind because I didn't put my pants on my own. <laughs> and somebody probably did that somewhere. Yes, yes, sir. Oh yeah. I'm, oh I'm yeah. Sure, I'm sure. Yeah. Of it. I'm, I'm yeah. very sure of it. But I'm, I'm, I'm thankful. And I'm blessed. I'm B L E S S blessed. And, and, and like you said, you know, I, like I said, I, I work in the hospital. I see people when it's eighty something degrees outside come 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 to the. Doctor with a big old overcoat on, like it's thirty-two degrees outside. Mm -hmm. They're like, "Well, I know you unstable, you know." They, especially when they're walking around and you know, like they they're looking for some Martians or something. Like, oh, I'm hearing something, <laughs> you yes. know. Like, oh Jesus, <laughs> I gotta keep my eye on that one. But yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, yes. thank God that we're closing our right mind, and you man, because you you, you know it, it's some it are some uh it. There are some disturbed people out there. Yes, sir. They, they really is. But I pray for them as well. And and I, and I ask God to help them and strengthen them where we can build them up where they're torn down. Yeah. Because yeah. everybody has a soul. Yeah. yeah go ahead and I'll close it up. All right, our Heavenly Father, we come to you once again. No one or other name to call upon, Father God. We ask you to bless, yes, sir. bless, bless, bless each and every one that's out here that's watching right now, Father God. We ask you to just strengthen us where we're weak. Ah, yes, sir. Build us up where we're torn down, My Father Lord. God, because someone needed to hear this today, Father God. Yes. And I hope by me and Pastor, we sitting here and we talking. We hoping that we bring somebody closer to you God yes Lord because father we need you right now this is troubling times right now father God we all need you right now we need you from the outhouse to the white house to <laughs> all house, yes, we need you everywhere right yeah, now father everywhere God. we need you because things have gotten out of control yeah and they forgot who you are yeah. And who you are you are the creator of the heaven and the earth father God father God we ask you to bless your sick Bless your shut-in people. Bless your homeless. Yes. Bless your bereaved family, God. God, yes. God, put your arm on hedge of protection around Amen. them and let them know that you are still God and you're still in control. Yes, sir. God. Father, let them know that you not left them or you hadn't forsaken them, Father, and you're still right there by their side. Mm -hmm. These and other blessings in your name, Father God, I pray. Amen. 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 Y'all, ain't nothing wrong with being concerned. But don't worry about what's going on in the government because I forgot what is it in the Old Testament. Testament says the, the government shall be up on his shoulders. Yes, sir. And so the government is up on the, on his shoulders. So that means he's in control. Amen. And he's in control. But he's going to get where people going to not forget about him. He's going to get about where he said every knee shall bow. And every tongue and shall bow. And that's going to happen. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. You think the church empty. It's going to be coming day and time that folks going to be fighting to get inside the church. Amen. It's coming. It's coming, amen. But I, uh, I, like I always say before I close out, don't let your doubt kill your faith, but let your faith kill your doubt. If you bless God, surely he'll bless you back, amen. Now may the grace of God, his sweet communion, rest, rule, and abide with us forevermore, amen. Knowing that God, amen, sit high and look low, and y'all walk in your blessing. If you know you're blessed, be on a shadow of a doubt, walk in your blessing, amen. Walk in your blessing, because the devil in the hell cannot take, amen, what God got in store for you. So walk in your blessing. Until we meet again, amen. amen.